Check, check, I hope. <clears throat> <laughs> I think I'm live right now. I don't know if I am or not. Let's see. It says I'm live. <gasps> there it is. Okay. Okay. All right, let me refresh my other page here. And uh, we'll get started. Actually, I can... Probably load into the game. Make absolutely sure I have seasons off. Okay, there we go. Um, why is this not working? Come on. Do 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 do. Is live stream. There we go. View in live control. Boy, they've really messed up this whole live streaming thing with YouTube. Uh, Unknown Fishing, Chris Howell, Wesson Vlogs, and Unknown Fishing again. Welcome aboard, guys. Um, hopefully, I am back. Yep, there we go. So, what we're going to do this time, oh, here we've got our little mower, but I think what I'm going to do this time is we're going to, we, since we've got this cutter on the front here, um, we're going we're gonna to give that a try. So, guys and gals, welcome back. Um, this is Farming Simulator 19. This is the new Alpine expansion, <clears throat> which is going to be releasing today. It might already be available. Actually, I think it's available if you're a direct buy customer right now, I could be wrong, but I think it's available. Um, that means if you want to go ahead and buy it um, directly from Giant's website, uh, it should be available for PC. Uh, for consoles, I'm not exactly sure on what the uh, the release times for on on those, because um, as you guys might know, and if you don't know, I am PC Master Race, so. Um, I never pay attention to the console stuff. So anyway, we're going to go and uh, we're just going to do some mowing here. This is like um, all new equipment with the, uh, the new expansion. This is actually our electric tractor, which um, is pretty cool. What is this thing called? This is the Ridgetrack SKE50 electric. So um, yeah, it's like the first time they've done an electric... Uh, I don't know if it's the first time they've done an electric vehicle. I don't think they've done any electric vehicles before, um, but it's definitely the first electric tractor. Uh, and I think there are two. I think there's another rigid track uh, tractor as well. So um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. John Pepper, hello, Ted Tun. What is it? Ted Tonelli. I can't really read it. It's far away and the font is small. Uh, Spyro. Hey, Spyro. Yeah, I was originally going to live stream about <clears throat> an app, like two hours ago or something, but uh, YouTube decided to, to die or go down or I don't know really what was going on there. But um, yeah, YouTube was offline for quite, <laughs> quite a while earlier. I think the world kind of freaked out there for a little bit. But uh, we are back now. Ah, I can't see. So I can definitely tell that this electric tractor is not the most powerful in the game by far. The 
Did we already? Oh, no. So yeah, we'll just kind of like mow around here. Um, I don't know if I can change the direction of that little gate on the back there or not. I don't think that I can. It's kind of hard to, there we go. Kind of hard to see what's going on, but it's really bright in here. Uh. See, so like every time we go around, we've got this little wind rower here that's essentially just raking the uh, the grass to the left, keeping it in a you know a single line. That way, when we come back through with our forage wagon or baler or whatever, um, it'll be way easier to pick up. Instead of having to pick up like 20 gazillion different lines of grass. Anthony Krukowski's like, OMG, a farming simulator stream. Yes, it's a miracle. So yeah, I'm just, um, you know, I, I big thanks to uh, go out to Giants for sending me a copy uh, of the Alpine expansion early. Um, I actually got it when Monday, I think. Yeah, today's Wednesday still. So yeah, back on Monday. And um, it's kind of interesting. I think... I think if I just play it like like the new equipment on this map, I think I I think I might end up enjoying it. Like just saying, okay, here here's the you know, here's the farm. <clears throat> this is the equipment that you have. And uh, you know, try to do what you can to uh, make money. I think that's kind of the goal that I'm going to go for here. And we'll see if we can make money doing this. <clears throat> Brad, how do I make the best content? Oh, I'm, I'm far from the best content. <laughs> but if you think so, I'm, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Like that's actually like a really steep hill going down there, so that's why I'm, that's why I'm weeing. Uh oh. Oh, come on, back her up. There we go. So yeah, this vehicle is all electric, which is why it's so quiet. I don't know if you guys can you know hear the interior, but it's pretty quiet. And when the uh, you know when you're just outside the vehicle, really all you hear is kind of like a pumping sound, which is probably a hydraulic pump, if I had to guess. Um, they do do they do do um, they do use, they do use the real world sounds. Um, on their vehicles, so yeah. Uh oh, oh, I forgot. I'm like cutting into the grass up there. Whoops, what's going on with this like HDR stuff?
All right, there we go. Squeaky2008, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, oh, there it is. There's the sound. <laughs> it finally came through. I'm like, where's the sound for the super chat? So slow. But thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, oh, we got a little, like, missed a spot here. And I missed it again, so that's always nice. And uh, we just gained a subscriber. Who did we gain? Um, why can't I pop this out? Oh, there we go. Oh, my gosh, it's so small. Oh, wait, that's... <laughs> Squeak. That's Squeaky's uh, super chat. All right, let's go backward here. I'm gonna rake asphalt here. Uh oh. I kind of feel like I should um, go around really quick with the, uh... nope, not with that. <laughs> I feel like I should go around with the, uh, the forage wagon and give the cows uh, some more grass. I also feel like going uh, going around with the tether and I can't the tether does that make it that makes the grass into hay right I'm pretty sure it does okay lower the tool there oh yeah oh yeah we just got a donation let's see what Let's see what, what what pops up here in a second. <laughs> the screen is like so tiny. I don't know why it's so small. I, I want, I wish YouTube would change it back to the old way. The old ways were so much better. I'm looking, I'm looking over there to see, <laughs> to see what it is. Oh, there it is. Anthony Krakowski donated $20. Thank you so much, Anthony. Finally gets his name up on the board this month. Uh, we're gonna have to go crazy through here. Oh, oops. I'm like just cutting grass, like, like a bouse. Um, wait, how do I want to do this? Right, let's lift this up. I kind of need to get this grass over to the right. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of go like. Well, that didn't work. That did not work as I did expected it to work because it's not expecting anything or some of these things. Um, okay, let's go down. There we go. No, oh, gosh. Yeah, look at this. Look at all this grass we're going to, we're like raking up right here. That's gonna fill that forge wagon up in no time. So I think uh, we'll cut all this in grass. Um, we'll give it to the cows. And if there's any left over, I'm wondering if we can sell it. Uh-oh, I'm going full throttle here and I'm having problems getting up the hill. There we go. Okay, so let's cut in here. I'm like going full throttle here. So again, electric, <clears throat> you know, being that it's electric, I would think that it would actually have more power, but you know, cause electric motors have a ton of torque, a ton, ton of torque compared to like a gasoline engine. But I don't know, you know, I don't know the technology that's in them. So I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of guessing here. NEMA 1212 is here. Hey, NEMA, uh, PR Jdingo. Um, 
Hello, hello, Sorshell Kennedy. Hey, Sorshell, how are you? I'm doing all right. Hanging in there. Oh, oh, going down the hill a little too fast. All right, so we'll lift that. Yeah, I'm thinking that maybe I should go and get, maybe I should go and bring the, the trailer down here. Um, let's see, P, P R G N D G O. Oh gosh, that's a hard name to say. <laughs> um, says I almost can't wait for someone to model a three PT aircraft APU that can recharge the electric tractors in ten minutes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's a lot of power. Um, all right, let's, uh, oh, I just turned that off. All right, what I'm going to do here is, let's see, let's go to this guy. Yeah, here we go. Get our uh, Bureer, Bureer here, Bureer, Bureer, everywhere. No, I, I'm trying to say the name as best I know how. So there. <laughs> it's kind, of, it's kind of a difficult name to say, if you're not a uh, like a native German speaker. Bureer is pretty darn close but not, I don't think it's exactly how you say it. How, and of course I miss like half the grass coming down the hill or all the grass. Wow. Ah! Let's try this again, Brad, because apparently I have no idea what I was doing. No! Did we get it that time? Yes. All right, so we're 20% full just on that. Uh, too much grass, need to pick it up. Oh. Should I, was I going too fast? I don't, I think, I'm pretty sure I can cruise along there pretty, pretty quick and still pick it all up. Oh, look at this, 40%, 50, 70, 80, 90, oh my gosh, 100%, wow. I, I'll be honest, I did not think we would be able to Oh, whoops. I did not think we would be able to uh, get up to 50% or 100% that quick. Hey, I'll take it. Uh, Wilson Chandler. Hey, Wilson. Uh, <laughs> I'm like looking at user comments I just drove by. Um, do, 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 do. I'll help you with my... Oh, per hinding... Per Hindigo. H Hindigo or Hindigo? I don't know these things. Um, guys and gals, don't forget to hit the, that like button if you like what you see. Helps my channel out. And it also helps get more people in here. Ooh, there's some milk there. Waiting to go to the milk factory. Wait, do we actually have to, like... Okay. Okay. And let's go, let's go look at aminals. So there's grass, 13, eight. Okay, so we're filling up here. Oh gosh, 
I almost. Oh my god, I did. Oh spill. yeah. Ugh, I just spilled like I have like this chocolate milk drink that I that I made, and I just heard uh, we just got another donation. So thank you. Um. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. What is happening? What is going on here? I'm just okay. So that's full. <laughs> and oh, and Anthony Krukowski donated another five dollars. Thank you, Anthony. You can just get that, you know, that thousand dollar donation out of the way. You don't have to do it in like five dollar increments. <laughs> Um, let's see. All right, so let's go back over here. We're going to pick up the grass that we have down here. Oh, whoops. Oh, that was already down. Wait, is it on? Yes, it is. It is on. All right. Oh, yeah, it's on. And then, wait, do I own this up here, too? Let's look at the map. No, I don't think so. Nope. Yeah, this is going to cost us $125,000. You don't have access to this land. So I have to transport the milk. Now, how do I transport the milk? Like, do I actually have to pick those canisters up somehow? I don't think I ever got any... I'm not sure if I ever got my animal farm up in uh, Farming Simulator 19 before. I mean, I did sheep, I did horses, <laughs> but um, I don't think we ever got into cows. I'm kind of wondering let's see all right let's lift this up turn that off and then we'll sell whatever uh, grass we can. Do I use a wheel or a controller? That is a good question. Um, I'm going to call that full. <laughs> I'm going to call that full right there. Um, I actually use a combination between um, a wheel and, or no, not a wheel, a controller and my and the mouse and keyboard. Whoops. Okay. Now since I want to do Yeah, look, look. Can you hear it? There's literally nothing. Like that's pretty much the sound. Oh, I can hear the whir the whirring of the of the uh, motor. <laughs> that's so awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna do hay. Hey, hey, hey. Whoops. Let's lower this down. No. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's the folded up. There we go. Okay, so we're going to get our tether here. And, um... Let's see, let's unfold that.
And that will allow us to turn that <clears throat> directly into um, hay. So see how it's like a different color? See how in the, in the front left, the boat, like in front of the mower, see how it's like green? And then it's a little bit more brown there behind the mower. Yeah. Actually, I'm trying to think here. If I go, let's go straight across here. This is a situation where I, I would like to have a, a like a larger wind rower. So maybe we might invest in one. I don't know yet. don't quite know. Do you change your sensitivity settings on the controller? Yes. Um, I have to turn the sensitivity kind of way down. Uh, I'm using an old Xbox 360 wired controller. And yeah, it's really overly sensitive, I think. Um, it's probably going to be like that on any controller that you use, you know, that you use it with. Um, like, like I'm using my controller right now. I was just using my mouse and keyboard before. Would also be nice to have a wider mower, but those things are flipping expensive probably. And I'm not even sure if this uh, has enough oomph, you know, I don't know if it's got enough power to really um, do like a front and rear uh, mower deck. I don't know. Kind of zoom in. There we go. That's a better view, I think. Will this be? Will this pack be free soon? No, this is a, a DLC. It's a. It's an actual expansion. So um, I don't expect it to be free ever. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Don't never say never, but. Um, no, I mean, it, it comes out tomorrow on the 12th. So it's available on Steam. I've got links down in the video description. And I'll be honest, I've looked at it a million times, but I can't remember what the price is. I should play the game Ark for my next... No, I'm, I'm not a fan of Ark, actually. I don't... I know a lot of people out there love Ark. I am not one of them. I've tried playing it, and I just cannot get... I cannot... get into it. I just... I don't know. Just not my thing. I have been thinking of uh, doing some videos on or maybe live streams on fishing north atlantic um but i don't know if i'm going to do that one either <laughs> i should just do it and not think about it like whenever i play i should just go live and talk to you guys there we go
Here we go. Am I like going uphill? Looks like I'm going really slow here. Greetings from Texas, DJ Sweet and Low. Well, thank you very much. Greetings from Ohio. I feel like it should have more power. We're almost done with this side of the field. We still have that over there to do, like off in the distance. And there's a big field kind of up on the other side there of, you know, grass we can mow. We can make bales. We can do quite a bit with it. up here and we should be done. How long have I been playing Farming Sim? Um, since, uh, like since the end of 2012. <clears throat> so about eight years. Oh gosh. trying to split the difference there and it didn't work in my favor. Grease Monkey says greetings from Pennsylvania. Well, greetings to you as well. See, should I get FS19 or wait? For, uh, well, see, we don't even know when FS21 or whatever they're going to call it is going to come out. Um, so I would just say get this one. Um, if you wait for the Black Friday sale or the Cyber Monday sale or whatever they decide to call it, um, you'll probably be able to save a bundle um, on Farming Simulator, though. So I definitely, I wouldn't buy it really today, though. I don't know, is Steam still having their sale today right now? I'm not really sure. All right, so do we have, oh, no, I still got a little bit more to get back there. that up and then I guess I'll wind road or I'll let's see all right whoops Whoa, that sounded really trippy. see here
All right, so I just want to kind of show you guys, if we go to small tractors, we go all the way over. Um, we've got four, five, four, six. So we've got the, uh, the Bure 6105. We've got the SKE um, 50 electric from Rigitrack. Uh, so it's about 50,000. We do own one of those. And then we've got this guy. So this one is... 68 horsepower and this one is 81 horsepower what the heck this is considered a small tractor what the heck is that it almost looks like something that you would put a bucket on almost like a front loader that's weird that they would put this in um, the tractor. Um, it does actually use, um, you know, gasoline or diesel or who knows what. And then we've got the Lindtrack, uh, the Linder Lindtrack 130. 136 horsepower. 120 probably is the base model. Very nice. And was that the only one? Oh. Oh, and then another uh, Ridge Track X uh, F, pfft, SKH 150 for 160. So this one's 150 horsepower. Do, 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 do. All right, so we've got, <clears throat> we got this. Do we have any medium trackers? I don't think so. I think everything is. I know there's no large tractors in this DLC or expansion. Yep. Okay. Um, I wanted to go. Oh. Um. Let's see. Oh. Uh. Uh. Ragey Nebula, or Raggy. I always want to say Raggy. Uh. Two dollar or two pound. Uh. Super chat. Thank you so much for that. Um. Let's see. Wheel loaders. Crop protection. Oh, here we go. Oh, actually, I, no. We oh gosh, weeders. I forgot about this. Those evil weeders. Oh, so we do have some alpine. Ooh, look at these. <gasps> what is this? Wait, what's the width? Two point five meters. Oh, this one's. Is this what we have? Yeah, we already have that one. So that one's three point four meters. This one is 5.9, so three, ooh, so this one is pretty big difference. That is so cool though. Like I want like a little 3.5, 3 3.4, ooh. Well, how does this one work? Oh, it probably just like spits it off to one side or the other. Well, that's interesting. So it's kind of like this one, but different. This one, <clears throat> this one looks so interesting to me. Like I want to use it, but it's the narrowest of all of them. Unless there's... <gasps> Sepknusel Vario. Dude, this looks like it's straight out of the 80s. Or actually, probably even 70s. <laughs> that, that old school color scheme. Um, I actually do kind of want to get this one, though. Oh, Should I buy it now, or should I wait? I kind of feel like I should wait. <clears throat> I think I'll wait. And just kind of make do with this guy for right now. Okay, so turn that on.
Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm just going to try to rake all this downhill as much as I can. Oh, it's so... Yeah, see, like this. Oh, it's so hard to... <clears throat> to see where they are. Ah. I feel like I'm getting too far down here, too. Um... So let's kind of sweep this that way. Oh no, we're combining grass and and hay. What are we gonna do? <laughs> the world's gonna end. It's like matter and antimatter colliding. Maybe not quite that bad, but it's pretty bad. It's gonna give the cows the, the really bad farts. All right. And then I can probably pick that up. I mean, I wish I could... I wish there was a way to, like, wait, what's this? Oh, no, that's folded up. Yeah, there's not really a way to, like, flip it over to the other side. <clears throat> so let's kind of go... Kind of like that. Um, do I have a Discord? Yes, I do. Uh, the link is down in the video description. So this isn't actually too bad. Maybe we'll maybe we'll make like a gazillion dollars and then um, we'll be <laughs> we'll be able to uh, afford some better equipment. I don't know how much milk the cows are producing though. Um, I think they're like at only eighty percent capacity or something right now. You were the first person I watched ever on Farming Simulator, and it was back in 2017. Well, thank you. Bob -a bong Hey, Bob. I'm doing pretty good tonight. How about yourself?
Oh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I always think I'm gonna like go off track, and I'm really concentrating. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave that out there. This tractor seems to have like a little bit more oomph when you're not using the front mower, uh, which admittedly takes a lot of power, I'm sure. Shoot, you know what I don't think I have? I don't think I have a bale trailer. I was thinking about going and selling some bales, but then I'm like, uh, not sure how that's gonna work. Since I don't have a bail trailer. Okay, I'm just going to do this from here on out. So if we can make about 20 grand, I think I'm I think I actually do want to buy the larger wind rower. I don't know. Oh gosh, I'm missing a bunch of spots. Oh, we're almost done. Now we're getting there. Mr. Bronson, you joined the Discord. All right, welcome aboard. Uh -oh. All right, so let's go back. We'll do one more neat pile here, I think, and go get the um, go get the welcome wagon. No, it's not the welcome wagon. It's just the <laughs> the forage wagon. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, there we go. Why did I disconnect this? Tell me why. <clears throat> I wonder if this is going to fill this up. Well, there's still a little bit of grass in there, which will probably get converted over to straw. Or hey, I'm sorry, this is not straw. Oh no, I lost the grass. Wow. 
I don't think we're going to get up to 100%. I, I'll be honest, I thought, I really did think I, that, that, that we were going to get up to 100% on that. Boy, was I wrong. Well, the important part is the cows are going to have plenty of food for the foreseeable future. Uh, yes, this is the map that's coming out with the Alpine expansion. So, yeah, it's, uh, what is it called? It's not Felsbrunn. It's like Schliegenhagen or I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> um, I just want to bring this up really quick so you can see how much hay we have or hay, hay slash silage. So we'll just hit this and this will start moving there. Is the DLC getting released at midnight? Um, if you if you have the PC version and you want the direct buy edition, um, I think it's available right now. I think you can go and download it. Um, oh, water. Okay, so they do need straw. <clears throat> All right, so let's figure out where we're going to get some water. <clears throat> Golly, what's going on with my voice? Hitting puberty. It's about time. Okay, so here's the water trailer. Now, where can I go and just fill up with water? There's a bank there. Bank me, uh, or I don't know, that might be rocks. <gasps> don't know who. Okay, sawmill, lime station, supermarket. Okay, go down to the big, the big uh, lake there. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I don't. I don't know why I've got so much coughing to do here. Wait, can I get through there? I can. Oh, wow. Okay. It's almost like the guardrails were not even there. Now, I should be able to back this down and get water out of here at no cost. Um, I forgot how to, uh, R. There we go. Off. All right. The map I saw said the expansion will drop. Yeah, it, it just depends on where you get it from. Uh, the direct buy version from um, Giant Software always drops at midnight uh, German time. Uh, at least it has in the past unless they've changed something. So um, you might even want to go to the, you know, the official website. Now, if you've got it on console, you know, Steam, Epic Games, whatever, uh, you know, then the times are definitely going to vary. Okay, so the diarrhea comes out of there. Straw goes right there, I think. I 
Yeah, see, we've got that trailer there. But not a full-on bale trailer. Um... Alright, so there's a little bit of... Should I just left the thing back there? And then, let's see, let's see how much milk do we have? A hundred and forty seven liters. So we don't really have that much milk. Um straw, straw, straw. I'm gonna have to have a feet I'm gonna have to have a field to do straw. Can you show us your most OP FS9 world? No, I'm not gonna do anything like that, sorry. We're just uh, doing the uh, the ex expansion and uh, seeing how far we can kind of get. Um, oh. So we're gonna get the uh, pallet. Hello. Oh my gosh, oh there we go, whoa! It's a dual steer, that's kinda cool. Oh, this is a bale spike, okay. So we have a grass bale over here. And I kinda wanna see I don't know how much these sell for, like 400 bucks or something like that. Probably not even that much. Okay, so. So we gotta go find grass here, which is right there. And we gotta go to the barn to sell it. The barn is over here. All right. Oh, gosh. Is there a way to turn off the dual steering? Let's see. Left control and Y. Crab steering left. No, I don't want crabs. Front wheel steering. There we go. Phew. Tractor's trying to give me crabs. Oh, that's right. I can just hit F1. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I figured that out. Oh gosh. See, now it doesn't feel like it's steering as well. Oh, that's right. We can do um we can do missions too. Or jobs or whatever. I'm the fastest tractor in the universe. You are too slow for me because I'm the ultimate tractor. Just pretend, just pretend I never sang that song. It's better that way. Oh, we just, we just missed the train. Oh, there goes the train.
I know I'm coming over here for like one bale is kind of silly, but I just want to kind of see how, how much we can get for it. So I have to go back here to this corner. I think. And we got we got 340. I was thinking we might get like 400 bucks for it. So that was even less. All right. Oh my gosh, steering with the keyboard is like a pain now. Wait, can't I get... Ah, uh, here's the contracts. Harvesting. Oh, nope. We definitely do not want any potato harvesting whatsoever. Fertilizing. Harvesting. So we could do that one to earn a little bit of money. That one's not too bad. Fertilizing. Ooh, that's actually not too bad. Okay. All right, sorry, gosh. How long will the stream be? 57 hours. I don't know. You'll just have to <laughs> you'll just have to wait and see. I don't know. Yes, we've got this this area over here to mow, but I kinda wanna you know, earn some money. I don't think we're really gonna be earning too much um, doing it this way. So All right, so we need to fertilize. Where do we need to fertilize? Field 16, which is right here. <clears throat> I'm thinking we might only need one thing of fertilizer. Oh. Um, well. Oh, there's the big bag. I'm like, where's my big bag? There we go. All right, off the field 16. Which, where is this again? So we got to go there, there, and then kind of straight down there. Okay. I do, I like this map though. Like, I like this little town. It's pretty nice. Yeah, very nice. You did a cotton contract and ended up with 115,000. Yeah, I mean, you can get some pretty good ones, um, especially depending on the map that you play on and and how the, uh, you know, what the sizes of the fields are. Which 
tractor is this? Is this the case? Oh, it's a case. Okay. All right, so here's field 16. And... Man, I hope this is going to be enough fertilizer. That doesn't look like a much fertilizer for this field. Okay, so we're going to go like this. Trying to get as much of the fertilizer like on the field as we can. All right, there we go. Why am I driving case? Because that's the tractor that it gave me. Sometimes you make more from the leftover crops than the kit than the mission. Yeah, that's true. go about right here no and then if we want to we can always go into the contracts to see what our progress is. So we're about a quarter of the way through. Way too far to the left. Here we go. <clears throat> I just straight up drove through a fence because I'm a, I'm an OP gangsta. Fifty six percent. You almost back it to it taking the bait. What? I don't know what you're saying. What days do I stream? I don't have a, um, I don't have any kind of streaming schedule. All right, so let's see what we're up to. 75%. So yeah, down and back, we should be done. Keyword should. Is the electric tractor good? Yeah, yeah, it seems to be pretty nice. I mean, for a small little tractor, yeah, yeah, it's pretty decent. Guys and gals, do not forget, hit that like button when you come in. Definitely helps me out tremendously. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notifications if you want to get notified whenever I go live or post new videos. looks like we're gonna have just enough 
fertilizer with a little bit more. Just a little bit more than we need, which is fine. What was the, let's see, unload, okay. Well, contract is finished. So now what I want to do, I want to drive this back um, to the dealer because I actually want to offload that excess fertilizer so that we can use it for future jobs. So I'm going to go do that really quick. Uh, it's funny to watch from a 50, uh, 65 inch TV. <laughs> when you post Gold Rush, um, I'll have a new uh, episode of Gold Rush up tomorrow. What's my favorite animal? Probably birds, because they can fly, and I've always loved to fly. And if not birds, then poop snakes. Ah. Oh gosh. All right, so if we hit I, oh, bam, there we go. That just puts it out in the middle of the parking lot. So once I um, collect, so we got the lease cost. We got a 4,900 bucks there. So fertilizing, so we got another fertilizing contract here, which is a sprayer contract. Um, oh, and that's a lot more expensive. I almost want to try, let's see, where's field number two? It's this field. So we can do some, let's see, so let's go ahead and borrow items. There we go. Oh no. All right, so we're gonna have to take all this stuff up to field number two. And I think I've gotta go. Gotta go out here to the right. Me bringing a combine through town here is going to be super fun. Actually, I'll probably have to take it out the other way. So where am I going here? Field number two. Thank you for turning right. <clears throat> Would I recommend buying a keyboard for FS19 on console? I mean, if that's a thing that you can actually do, then yes. <laughs> Thank you. 
I definitely would. All right, I think we can go up here. Dude, I wonder if I'll I wonder if I'll be able to um, get all of the the straw from this field. If I can pick up the straw before I cancel the uh, the mission or the job. I don't know. I just hope I can connect this uh, header trailer to the I love how they even have like the belt squeak. Like you can have, you can hear like whichever, whatever combine they used has a squeaky belt. All right, so. Ah. Uh. So if we go, yeah, we're gonna have to kind of go up this way, I think. I just think this is a little bit too crazy to maneuver through town. There we go. All right. Caden says he's going to put it on his wish list. Yep, that's a good idea. If you can... If you... Wait, you can if you have the mod on. Wait, what? Which mod? Oh gosh, I was trying to drive. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to drive it through there in first person, but without any depth perception, it's like ne nearly impossible to do. Take care, Bronson or Broson. Sorry. Um, let's see. Keyboard does not work on Xbox One, or, key or only the side panel does. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea, but you know, if you if there's a keyboard that works for farming simulator for consoles, I would definitely recommend it. But I, like I said, I don't I don't play console games. So, gosh, I, I'm trying to even remember like the last time the last console game I played was probably Grand Theft Auto V. I think I don't. It, I, it's been so long ago. I just don't remember. Um, Adam Nielsen, hi. So let's come around. We'll hook up the, the header um, and we'll be all ready to go. 
I'll unfold the combine also. Yeah, see the straw swath? Now, I'm going to try. I'm going to do a, a lane here. I'm going to do like one row, sorry. And then I'm going to go and get my tractor that's got the um, forage harvester on there. And I'm going to come over and I'm going to see if I can pick up this straw. <clears throat> while I'm in the mission. Skeet Stolte. Hey, Skeet, how you been? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Philip, uh, Phillips May says, have not watched this since last year. I know. Crazy, huh? I haven't played it since last year. <laughs> Except on Monday. Yeah, I've just, I've taken kind of a long break from Farming Simulator. I love Farming Simulator, but I was just getting way too, I was just playing it way too much in multiplayer, way too much. And I just got burnt out and I had to, uh, I just had to take a break for a while. All right, Caden, have a good night. Uh, see, so surprised how active the Discord is. Yeah, we're pretty uh, we're pretty active on there. I'm on there pretty much every day. All right, let's go down. Do another row. Am I on PS4 or Xbox? <laughs> consoles. No, I'm on PC, my friend. No consoles here. Consoles have no power here. I mean, this looks like a million times better than any console version, so I don't know. I'm still shocked that I'm only getting 53 frames per second on this game. <laughs> Come on, optimizations much, guys? I know, I know they can do it. I mean, I mean, I mean, in single player, I mean, that's just kind of ridiculous, I think. So let's see. We are gotta. We are gotta. We are gotta go. Be blah, 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 blah. yeah. Let's go over here. Oh, we just have to go right over there. That's not too far. Oh, is that the battery charging station? I think this is the battery charging. Yeah. Smart. I wonder. Hold on. I wonder if it just charges instantly or 
if I have to leave it there for a while. Like I would, lo I would love it if you actually had to leave the tractor there for a while to charge. We're gonna find out right now. <gasps> oh look, is it charging? Oh, start charging. Oh, dude, that's awesome. So 33 seconds, so it, it doesn't charge, or it doesn't just fill up like the, like the gas, I mean, it does kind of, but no, not really. Come on now. That's awesome. I actually like that. All right, so wish me luck. Let's see if we can get some straw here. No, okay, shoot. Well. I tried. So I am, I'm going to have to buy a field. I'm just going to have to find the cheapest field, um, which I think is field six. It's 103,000, 172, or wait, no, no. It's 102,000. Actually, we could buy that right now. Um, what's on it though? Let's see, 185. So right, we're looking at this number right down here, kind of, kind of in the lower right. Seventeens, twenties, pretty small. Ooh, 92. There's field. Uh, that's actually a pretty good buy. It's right there next to the grain mill too. Hmm. I might have to. The downside is, is I don't have uh, the equipment. All right. Anyways, I guess if I had, if you have an active like mission to like to uh, to to harvest something, can you have a can you harvest the field? Can you harvest a different field other than what you're supposed to harvest? I don't remember. It's been a long time. Body in the basement says, sup, Brad? Hello. Um, let's see. Tracy Robson. It, there is a mod for that, but okay. Oh, I see. Um, how do you join the Discord? Uh, the link's down in the video description. Baba Bong says no. Okay. So I'll either have to buy or lease a combine. <laughs> What's the cheapest... What is literally the cheapest combine in the game? I don't even remember. It's been so long.
Ah. Uh. So I'll just bring this up. So we can offload that. Yeah, so just kind of looking around the map here. This is the, uh, the brand new map for uh, the Alpine expansion. So very, very nice map. back on it. All right. Um, how's my mom doing? Um, she's doing okay. Um, I think the medication that she's on is really kind of taking it out of her a little bit, but, um, you know, she's having some problems eating or at least maintaining her appetite. So it's kind of, you know, we're just kind of, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed, you know, that, that she can kind of, you know, force herself to eat and, um, you know, and then that somehow she can get through this. Um, it's, it's really tough. It really is. Uh, the graphics look worse than I remember. No, they shouldn't. Should be pretty much on par with uh, Farming Simulator. Now, the map boundary right over there where you can see it looks really kind of fuzzy. Um, yeah, that's pretty much kind of par for the course here as far as uh, off the map goes. But like all the on map, you know, stuff looks pretty nice. The graphics is YouTube. Yeah, there, there's a, probably a lot of... Um, you know especially like where the crops are like to the left anywhere there's like movement on screen because there's so much detail in the ground um you know and in the grass areas like like here i'll, I'll just i'll leave the screen stopped here for a second and just watch how the screen will clear up just watch watch it should like right now it probably should look just about perfect i'm actually going to pull up my live stream so i can see whoops i'm going to resituate my screens here but yeah i mean it should look pretty much perfect by now but it's all part of um how youtube does uh their video compression yeah, I'm looking at it on the other screen, and it looks like looks perfect once it stops. But yeah, while while the combine's moving, yeah, it looks pretty pretty fuzzy. That's why I don't like to do, uh, you know, the, the farming sim live streams as much, uh, because you lose so much detail. Um, where, you know, if I, back when I used to make episodes regularly, um, you know, I can I can control how much detail I'm losing in the comp you know in the compression process um, by you know pre-compressing the video and you know doing things myself. Uh, yeah, the graphics are definitely way better than FS13, that's for sure. Is this an early release? Um, I mean, I did get it early. I got it. I got my copy on Monday from Giants. Um, they, they do send me all of their DLCs and updates and things like that. Um, 
but um, it you know depending on where you get it from it could be out right now um, if you're on like Steam or uh, Epic Games or like on con I don't know when it releases for consoles um, if you go to their I think on their official website I think they actually say like what times like what time zones the game releases on you know which platforms and stuff like that so um, but yeah I mean I'm not gonna I'm not really gonna go in and uh, go through all the trouble of looking that up do I have a PC yes this is on PC this is not on console this is totally PC I look so constipated in there. I have to pee. Graphics came a long way since Farming Simulator 2011. Um, and yes, it has. Oddly enough, though, this is the same game engine that they're that they used in Farming Sim 2011. Uh, it's called the Giants Engine. Giants actually built the game, the game's engine in house, entirely in house. Um, they've improved it. You know, they've done some things to improve it over the years. But um, I'm kind of seeing, being that we did not get like a whole new version of Farming Simulator this year, I'm kind of wondering, like like why we didn't get a new uh, farming sim this year um, are they are they kind of waiting and doing like a big update to the Giants engine maybe um, I mean I just don't know I don't I do not know I'm gonna kind of go up this way so I've got some room to turn around get kind of close to the boundary here oh look at field number one it's just grass <laughs> The other night you made your hottest batch of chili. I actually made some chili, um, not last week, but wait, was it? No, it wasn't last week, it was the week before, I think. I think. I still have a little bit left in the fridge that I forgot to freeze, and it's probably like ready for the, the garbage man to come and pick up. There's probably only like a bowl or Two, maybe two bowls left. I had like this big thing of it. So uh, I don't know. I'll have to go and <laughs> smell it and see if it... Uh, I'll do a taste test. If I don't die, then, then that'll be good. But yeah, beyond this update, I mean, as far as like what the future holds for Farming Simulator, um, I really don't, oh, I really don't know. I don't know if they're going to be doing like even more expansions for this or more DLCs. I don't know if this is kind of the last expansion that they're going to do um, or the last DLC even. I don't know if they've got anything else planned right now. Um, so we, yeah, we just don't know. Um, and, you know, we obviously don't have any ETA on when the next major version of Farming Simulator is going to be released. I don't know if it's going to be next year or, you know, 2022. I mean, we just don't know. It could be like Star Citizen and take like 10 years to develop the game. From what I heard, it was delayed because of COVID. Um, that is, that's totally untrue. Um, that actually I knew last year that, um, uh, even before the whole COVID thing, that it wasn't going to be released before March of 2021. So, um, 
I'm sure that COVID has probably slowed down some development, but uh, I, by and large, I'm, pr you know, I don't think it really has anything to do with uh, COVID-19. COVID's kind of a, I don't, I don't want to get into it. So, I mean, it's, you know, but as far as like why the game got pushed back, we, you know, I can only speculate. I don't know at this point. How do you post on a schedule, Brad? I'm not sure what you mean. How do you post on a schedule? They're doing, uh, let's see, they're doing a great deal of updates and some expansions to a new engine. This one is still limited by operating inside a console port shell. No, this is, I don't know where you got that. It's not a, this isn't a console shell. <clears throat> I mean, let's see, what was the first version of Farming Sim to come out, to come out on console? I think it was, far, was it Farming Sim 15? I don't think 13 came out on console. And the console versions, I believe, have a different shell entirely. It's still it's still developed in the the Giants engine, but it's like a different, you know, because because if it was the same, then the PC and the console versions would be like you know be cross play compatible, which you know it's clearly not. So, yeah, it's and in, in plus like the Xbox version is fundamentally different than the. Um, the, the PlayStation version, uh, but they're all really close. But you know the way um, PC handles, like you know, just the the vehicles, like how many vehicles you can purchase, and the you know the memory slot system and all that stuff. It's unique to um, you know it's completely different on PC than it is on Xbox or you know PlayStation Three or PlayStation One. I don't know whatever PlayStation it's available for. Seven percent. Come on, get up there. There we go. Ah. There we go. <laughs> Can I do more of the Ravenport USA map? I already have a Ravenport map tour. Uh, you can go and look at it uh, under my Farming Simulator 19 videos. Just noticed this is not Farming Simulator 2020. Yeah, there's no, this isn't the mobile version. Um, this is the, uh, the full PC version. I don't really do mobile games. I definitely don't. I've never done a mobile game before. Now, Construction Simulator 2 um, was a PC port of their mobile, you know, game, but still a PC game, not a mobile game.
I haven't noticed the train go by. Have you guys seen the train in the background while I've been doing this? Totally not even paying attention to it. How much are we getting paid for this? By the by, man, we're only 60% done. 4,000. Somehow this just isn't worth it. <laughs> it's like a lot of uh, a lot of work for not much pay. <clears throat> Guys and gals, do not do not forget to hit that like button. If you have not done so already, gotta you gotta hit the like button because we gotta do a like spike. Uh, let's see, it's been too long. How are hey Angus? It's been good. I'm doing all right, hanging in there. Thank you for asking. Hopefully you're doing good as well. Okay. Oh wait, we get percent of completion for um for selling this stuff, don't we? Uh, where do we have to go? Oh God, do I, oh crap. Do I have to put it on the train? Where? I can't, I cannot remember. I don't even know how the train works. Do I own a farm or even farm myself? No. Who is Spike and why do I have to like him? Oh gosh. Ugh. Dad jokes. That was definitely a, a dad joke. We got 114 people watching and only 82 likes. How is that possible? Come on guys, like spike. Come on, let's get some likes going. If you have not hit that like button, it is your civic duty at this moment <laughs> to go and hit the like button. Oh, another game, well, not really a game, but um, another expansion comes out tomorrow that I know a lot of people are looking for. <clears throat> and that is the uh, Colorado map for uh, American Truck Sim. So that comes out tomorrow. Don't know if I'm gonna do any uh, live streaming on that. I might though, I don't, we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, you're a father of three, <laughs> hence the dad jokes. <laughs> Oh, 
Let's see. Click the thumbs up to screw YouTube over. Oh, gosh. I don't think that's really going to do anything to YouTube. Oh, we're up to 89 likes. Come on, guys. Ninety percent. So what I'd like to do is, you know, sell as much, okay, there we go, well, not, not as much, but sell just enough of the grain so that we can keep whatever's left over after we reach 100, 100%, right? So that we can, you know, sell that ourselves. So I guess what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to come over here to this granary. Um, how long have I been doing YouTube um, since I've been doing like gaming since uh, 20 beginning of 2013 um, and then but I've been like you know I was putting up videos on YouTube even before then Holy cow. This thing looks like it's from like 1960s Russia or something. This thing is beat, beat up. Ah, my voice, my voice. What? There's an ad for Ravel over there. They're like a model company. I need this is the first time I've ever noticed ads in in, uh, in Farming Sim. There's like a bunch of actual advertisements. There's like an advertisement for like a YouTuber. I'm offended that they didn't contact me. Like maybe I wanted to spend loads of money. Oh, there we go. Now we can go full speed. So what does it say here? 78% done, okay. I went too far, well I went too far, but it, but it doesn't matter. Um, wait, what are, what are we, okay, barley.
Good garly, Miss Barley. Kyle, this is on PC. Yes, this is the PC version. Um, and as far as on the Switch, I have no idea. Wait, can I go... No, it literally says to go that way. All right. Oh, you know what? You know what I should do? Before I send that off, <clears throat> I'm going to... Oh, wait, hold on. Let's pull up here where I can actually turn around. Ah, uh -huh, I'm blocking traffic. Oh my gosh. Whoa. That guy held his horn uncomfortably long. What's my favorite pet? Well, I don't have a pet, but um, I did have one, and you know, she died about five years ago. So hopefully any of this leftover grain we might be able to get rid or we might be able to keep ourselves. I don't know exactly, but hopefully. Where's the best barley pride? Whoops. Barley, Felsman grain. Felsbrun grain mill's good. Oh, another thing I want to do is I want to look into buying one of those mixed rack. Oh, look at the train going across the bridge way in the background there. That's awesome. Um, anyway, I want to I want to look and see how much one of the the mixed ration machines is because I kind of want to buy. I kind of want to get my cows up to 100% productivity. as soon as I possibly can. Let's see how much milk we're up to now. What do we have before, like 145 liters or something? Not too terribly much. Like, I almost want to fill it up and see, like, how much money we're going to get for that. Can your next stream be on your most OP world? I don't really have an OP world. I don't know what you mean by that, but, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, look at all this straw. I just want to pick it up. I want to pick it up. Uh, Spencer Hecht, uh, hey Brad, I found your channel on YouTube and your videos are so cool. So I got FS19 because of you and I don't regret buying it. Well, that's good. I'm glad you don't. It's a great game. Um, Farming Sim's been around for, you know, many years now. 
And uh, yeah, they they're they're great games, and I there's really nobody that I wouldn't recommend Farming Simulator to. Literally no one. All right, so. <clears throat> Okay, so that's going to offload. So now let's go ahead and <clears throat> let's go up here and you're going to see what happens when we drive off the map. You might get it. You might get a kick out of it. You might be like, that's lame. I, I don't know exactly how I feel about it, but it is what it is. So we'll, we'll just we'll just see. <laughs> yeah, Farming Sim is a great game. You know, it's just nice and relaxing. You can kick back, kind of do it at your own pace. Learn at your own pace. All that good stuff. It's very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so we're coming up to the map border here. You look down in your lower left corner there. You'll see, uh, there we go. And what's gonna happen is, well, you'll see here in about five seconds. Four, three, <laughs> okay, three seconds, two seconds. Uh, the train will now drive to Felsgrun and will return to the other side of the map. You want the train to sell the unloaded goods at the grain mill in Felsbrun. Um, I guess? Okay, 69% transported for field number two. <laughs> um, all right, then. Oh, you could actually see it way off in the distance. Um, so what do we have? Oh, no. I'm gonna try to keep 2,000 barley. I'm gonna only drop off like 8,000. So there'll be like, we'll have like 26, well, let's see. 21, wait, what are we at as far as, oh, we're at 98%. So, Oh gosh. Okay, right about there. <laughs> I don't know how long it takes for the train to come back. I don't know how long it takes. Yeah, see, like, if we run up here, actually, we'll just go over here really quick. Wee, wee. So he, we're on this, we're on field number one, I think. Hansweli Trachler. Trachler. Um, and you can actually see, like, right here, is this, <laughs> that's the map boundary right there. So you can see, you can kind of, see it goes all the way up up there and it kind of goes across all the way to there that's the southeast corner and then right up there's the southwest corner i shouldn't be standing on the railroad tracks unless i want to get squished yeah.
Oh, here comes the train. Here comes the train again. Training on the train like a train does. Oh, slow down. Slow down faster. What? Barley. I don't know if this is going to be enough barley. It's going to be really close. Crap in a handbag. All right. Fasten and fasten. So I guess we're just gonna have to go like all out. Yeah, the the town the town will go through. I'll I'll go through the town from the outside here, so you can kind of have a little bit better idea of what the map's like. There's like a there's like a cheese factory over there. There's, there's a sh chocolatier on the other side of that blue building. Um, there's a little train station here. There's like a big hotel up on the hill there. Some kind of unique looking apartment buildings there. DLC PS5. No, this has nothing to do with PS5s. Yes. Contract 2 on Field 2, or Contract on Field 2 is finished. All right. So, if we go back to, um, let's see, Barley's at six ninety nine. See, what really sucks is, like, you can't, oh, no, Felsbrune Grain Mill, there barley okay so now so here's the regular grain mill but we get another 700 or another hundred dollars for it all right so now what we'll do is i'm going to offload the rest of this however much was in there <laughs> and we're going to wait for the train to come back in the meantime can i parkour up on top of this building somehow we're on a parkour up on top of the big cement, baby. Oh. Come on now, Brad. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, oh, oh. I get. See, I can't, like, stand on those little ledges. Like that ledge right there. Nope. So if I go here. Oh, wait, now I am. Oh, oh gosh. No. Nope. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. See, I don't think there's like another. I don't think there's another way to really get up there. It's like flatter than. Oh, I don't know. Flatter than many things that are flat. Um, let's see. Yeah, no P. Uh, yeah. The, uh, the, they will have this DLC available on console, but um, I don't know which ones. Like PS4 and Xbox One, probably, and I don't know, probably the new Xboxes and Playstations that are coming out this week. They're coming out this week, right? I don't know. I don't. I paid zero attention to consoles. Hashtag PC Master Race. <laughs> Is there gold up there? No, no. I, I just. 
I always like to s try to get to otherwise inaccessible locations in video games, and this is just another. Like, if I could get a, if I could get a telehandler, we could get up on this building. Easy. Watch. Oh, can I not? Yeah. See how I can like stay up here, just because this this has a little bit of a slope to it. Like that would be a really easy one to get up if it wasn't for this darn roof. <gasps> oh, dude, here we go. Oh, wait. I should be able to get up that. Yes. <laughs> what I tell you guys. Oh, the train. The train, the train. Oh, uh, come on. There we go. It's too bad this thing doesn't have, like, an emergency brake. I wonder if I go out that way. I wonder if it'll still allow me to sell at Felsbrun. Mmm. Barley. So we're only going to get, like, what, an extra... Fourteen hundred... What? How much was it? Like, six ninety nine or something? Yes, yeah, seven... So, seven hundred... Yeah, like, fourteen hundred bucks... A little, little bit more than that, 1500 maybe. We'll see what happens here. I'm scared. Felsbrun, yes. Yeah, so 1561 So we got a little bit more money there. So now what we can do, we can actually go in and... Um, <laughs> get our three grand oh that's so painful see like like in contrast these fertilizing missions are super fast super easy the downside to them is we actually hello i actually have to buy the fertilizer and of course now we get have to get the spray fertilizer so i have to buy the pallets for that and it's like almost as much as the thingy do bobber. Oh. I don't even know if we're going to need that front tank. What field am I supposed to? Field number 10. Field number 10 is where? Right over there. Okay. Right across the road from field 16. I'm not even going to bother getting that front tank. Is there a fly in my room or is it just a game? Uh, there's no flies in here. Controls. 
feel like I'm in a spaceship. Alright, so we're coming up to field number 10. And we'll just drive through the fence. Hashtag because we can. Well, it's not the fastest tracker in the world. So I'll show you how I'm gonna do this. Uh, let's see, I think they're hearing a game sound. Yeah, I would, I would, that would be logical. <laughs> um, let's see, Ken says, hi Brad, love your videos. Keep up the great work, bro. Thank you so much, Ken, I appreciate it. Um, let's see, you keep on hearing a fly buzz bot. Well, that might be, yeah, it's probably just an in-game sound because, you know, I mean, I know that I haven't bathed in a few months and I probably smell like a rotting pot roast on a hot New York City sky, uh, sidewalk, but it's probably not coming through my microphone. Just saying. Could be wrong, though. <laughs> Everybody, everyone just collectively <laughs> threw up. Like, ew. Go, go, go. No. Try not to waste any of this fertilizer because we can take this back and then offload it like before. So, yeah. Oh, there it is. There is the fly sound. So I guess there must be a fly in the cabin here i don't know you expect me to know these things boy are you guys wrong oh turn it off i'm not going at full speed i don't like to use my spray fertilizer because it you really waste a lot of it no We've already used almost 20% of what's in there. Uh, let's see. Wish it was out for consoles already. Can't wait to play. Yeah, um, you'll have to check with the uh, either the official website or possibly the Farming Simulator Facebook page because they had like you know what time it was coming out on consoles and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> Well, thanks, Connor. Now I'm never going to be able to unhear that fly. And every time that fly flies by, I'm going to remember Connor here. <laughs> and it will slowly drive me insane. You're going you're gonna to see it in the newspaper. Popular YouTuber Brad M73 flips lid. Goes insane after fly sound in, in a farming game. How many hours do you have in FS9? I have no idea. In FS19, probably as many as are on my live streams and Let's Play videos combined. Um, plus whatever I did in multi in, in the multiplayer server, I have literally no clue who, how much that might be though. Clearly too much. Oh, 
All right, so we're going to start from back here this time. And we don't have to have any overlap. I mean, we're already 64% done. Um, we're definitely going to have more... Uh, fertilizer left over and I think we can actually resell the fertilizer but I'll just keep it because there might be some more spraying missions and early in the game this is probably the best way to earn money uh, in order to help your farm grow you know to buy new equipment and things that you need Michael Minton says, I absolutely love your content, man. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, Michael. I appreciate the kind words. And here we go. All right. So 50. Oh, wait. No, that was the, I was looking at the fertilizer. Um, no, we're 79% complete. All right. <clears throat> we'll just go straight across here. I'm actually probably coming back the other way. We'll, uh, we'll be at 100%. Um, yeah, 84. And kind of watch it in the background. But we would have hit 85 by now. Oh, there. Okay, it doesn't update. On the fly. On the fly, get it? Because there was a fly. Oh. Never mind. It's probably better that you don't mind. <laughs> There's a fly again. Speaking of the fly, he had to he had to buzz in. Uh, never ending fly jokes. I can see it now. Of course, on farms, they do have those whopping huge horse flies. So, just saying. But I don't have, uh, I don't have farming sim on Steam, so I can't actively track my progress. Um, I guess I could always buy it on Steam, but... Oh, it's got to be any second now. 99%. As soon as that... Okay. Contract on field 10 finished. It doesn't give you any kind of like little bling sound or anything like that. So you just kind of have to know to look up on the top right there that, hey, it's finished. <clears throat> so we still have 509, you know, fertilizer units left. Um, so we're going to want to take that back to the dealer, drop it off. We could tech we could actually like drop it off and push it over onto the sell point, but it's, you know, we won't get the full price for it back. So it's better that we just, um, you know, uh, keep it and use it for another fertilizing mission. <clears throat> and what did this hold? 11 or 1,200 liters or I don't know, whatever it's supposed to be. Um, so we l used about, what, 61% of it? for 39% right now, so yeah, it'd be 61%. Um, and um, and we got plenty left over, so yeah. Now, I already have a partial uh, container of fertilizer over there, so I think what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna load this one up and then try to um, 
combine the two containers. Not sure if I'll have enough room to do that, but let's find out. And we do. All right. So I'm just going to come over here. And I'm just going to say I. And there we go. We've got that all ready to go for whatever our next mission is. And we'll go ahead and collect our $4,343. And let's see. Fertilizing. So here's another sprayer mission. Field number seven. Um, harvesting, harvesting, fertilizing. Um, oh, so that's the dry fertilizer there. Uh, let's go ahead and borrow item. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. No, no, yeah, we do. Well, wait a second. How much does a fertilizer sprayer cost? Crop protection. What? Okay, so okay, so that cost thirty thousand. <laughs> We're only up like nine thousand four hundred and fifty eight dollars right now. Holy moly, not much. I mean, it's like I feel like I'm working my butt off and barely making anything. So that's definitely out. Okay, man, I thought those were cheaper. I thought those were only like fifteen thousand. Well, so much for that idea. Yeah, I guess I'll borrow the items because I'm going to make a whopping $2,000 or something. All right, so field number seven, which is right up there. All right. Ooh. Only 27% full. I don't know. We'll see. Ah! I hit the sign. Yep, there's the chocolate ear right there, I think, on the left. Brad Mathias says, hey, yo, what's up? How you been? I've been doing all right. Good and bad, but uh, hanging in there as best I can, I guess. The fly, is the fly as bad as the turkey? I don't know. I remember the turkey sound, though. <laughs> Man, that's been a long time ago. It was a long time ago. Oh, there's the fly again. Thank you. Thank you, Connor. <laughs> oh, okay. So we're going to have plenty of room to figure out. Oh, oh man, this thing is wide. Okay. What? Oh. Oh, that's weird. So 
So I think I should do kind of like the outer portions. Like the just the outer boundary. And then um, kind of come back maybe through the center. Well, this will be a really fast... This will be a super fast job. Oh. Um. Okay, cruise control, and then I'm just going to go forward. And we'll go up to the uh, side of the field here. And I'm just trying not to waste fertilizer. I mean, you could sit there and have it spraying the whole time, but you're just going to be wasting your fertilizer. I'm going to kick it off there. Oh. And make sure everything's on the field. I'm going to come back. Uh, so we're a little over half complete. So we're going to kick that on there. Am I going to do a Let's Play on this map? Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually do like a straight up Let's Play. I might do live streams on this map though. I haven't really decided yet. Uh, do you play Among Us? No, I haven't. Is Among Us the game where like you're on the spaceship and you have to like figure out who's killing who? I was watching, um, I don't know if it was Savvy and Savvy Alloy and Mr. Bath. Um, I think I was watching those guys play it the other day, but um, uh, not really my type of game, I don't think. So we'll go across here. Okay, so in order to kind of conserve my fertilizer, we're just going to kind of do this until we get the message that the field is complete. Which should be like any second now. Contract on field seven is finished. All right, so let's take this back. <clears throat> we only used like 500 liters that time, so fine by me. We still have, we still have, now the thing is, is if you turn this in, it, it gives you money back for the, um, for the fertilizer, but it's better if you keep it yourself. Uh, do I have the game Medieval Dynasty? Yes, I do. Very good game. Here's the bridge up here. Is this where the Revel ad was? Or Revel? No. He was on up the road, maybe. There's a there's a uh, advertisement for the for like Revel models. Yeah, I think it's up at that other bridge, uh, which is pretty cool. I mean, I I like model building.
Ooh, somebody's really like honking their horn. All right, bam. All right, so we'll jump out of that and we'll collect our moolah. So let's see, we got fur. Uh, oh gosh, harvesting. Oh, look, she's in her. <laughs> I love these. Art. Hey, baby. Hey, Santa Steiner. Hello, Sandra. Hubba, hubba. <laughs> I might not buy her field just so I have a cutie to look. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, I'm such a chauvinist. I hope not. Um, What was I going to look at in here? I was going to look at something and I don't know what it was. Oh, yeah. Um, Aminals. Uh, what is this? A forage mixer wagon blends silage, hay, and straw into the mixer. What is this? Ooh, look at that thing. Is that the cheapest one we have? Ooh. Um, hmm. Do I get this one or do I get the Silo King for a little bit more? Oh, I forgot we had the. Oh, that's for the straw. And this is for. This one's for the bales, I think. No. This one's for the round bales, and I think this one's for square bales. Like you, you take it and you dump a square bale in there and then you hook this thing up to your uh, front loader. I'm not sure which side it hooks up to. And then it just like sprays the stuff in. Let's see, wait. Yes, tape, straw bales uses them to cover the ground. Yep, yep, yep. Maybe we'll just buy the big one. Because you can do the square bales or the round bales in, in the round baler, I think. Pre-more machine tape, sure, use a cover. Okay, yeah, I don't want that. 25,000. That's, that's literally the big one. So it's 53,000 or 41,000. What do you guys think? I don't know. I mean, this one obviously holds more um, liters. We do, it does require an 85 horsepower power tractor. That's not really a problem because I think the, the Bure is like 150 or something like that. I kind of feel like I should buy the cheaper one. Plus, I haven't used this one. I have used this. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I have used this one before. Hmm. I think I'm going to do this one. Yes. I don't want to do the leasing because those things just get too super expensive over time. Um, sure if this is 150 horsepower or not we can go and do the upgrade for it that's no problem logan 22 says hey brad watched your ravenport map play through it inspired me to get the game and now i play it with a bunch of friends thanks for the amazing content keep up the great work thank you so much i'm glad you've uh, i'm glad you've had fun playing farming sim
what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to actually have to buy a couple bales up here. back over to mouse and keyboard this thing is way easier to use with a mouse I'll tell you that right now um, what you gotta be joking me That's not good. Uh, if I just wasted all that money, I'm going to just get a... S yeah. Well, if that's not going to be supported, I don't think this is going to be. Or I'm completely wrong. So why can't I use a freaking round bale? Um, oh, my gosh. Um. Well, this is going to be fun because now I'm going to actually have to make like piles of oh, Hold on a sec. So that's for mixed ration. So if we go, we're gonna have to get, so we got straw, so I'm gonna have to get a hay and a grass bale, right? Hay, square hay bale. Oh no, I need, a, I need silage. Oh yeah, right there. How the heck am I going to get silage in there? I know how I'm going to get silage in there. <clears throat> yeah, but, um, yeah, I need a hay bale, not a grass bale. Um, yeah, I'm going to need silage. But obviously, I don't, should I do a silage bale? Kind of expensive. Let's say forage, but that's is that technically mixed ration? I think we I think in order to actually get 
mixed ration, we need silage. And we're not going to get silage unless we compress it in the uh, in our little silage pit. So I guess that's going to be the next thing we're going to do. Two straw, one hay, one silage is the ration. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to fit that much in this one, though. Yeah, I need silage now. Can I take this hay? Can I take this grass bale and just dump it off at the silage pit? Not a problem, really. <clears throat> well, let's do some mowing, I guess. All right, here we go. And we'll just kind of go around the property, I guess, and mow. And uh, I might actually go and get the uh, the forage trailer just to kind of see. Cause I, it's been so long since I've uh, played this, I can't really remember exactly how I got to do this. Oh, it's so powerful! <laughs> um oh, we're way out here all right oh that's the farm right there so not a big deal So however much um, grass this is, I'm just going to put this in to the uh, into the silage pit. 
we'll see uh, this should refresh my memory on how this works because it's been a long time I can't see I bet in real life that thing would totally tip, tip over. All right. Now this will actually be fun to see if I have enough. If I got enough tractor here to compact it all. Oh. So you just have to like drive around on it, compacting it. I might want to do my whole, I might want to do this whole thing in grass and compact it maybe at the end. I don't know, will, will a front weight work? Five percent. Oh, so so. Well, this is probably the heaviest vehicle we have. Actually, I wonder if I put. I wonder if I put this on the end, if it would uh, accelerate things. I don't think so. What? Didn't even compact any that time. All right. Um. All right, let's go back this way, I guess. Kind of thinking that I should go over this way and try to cut like a straight line across here. That is so annoying. <laughs> you would think after all these years of people complaining about vehicles going through the windshields of the farming equipment that they would fix it. But no. Um, let's see, 
how do I want to do this? I'm concentrating. Yeah, just coming up this hill right here is like killing me. Whoops. Let's lift up the mower here. Maybe I'll just go downhill. Yeah, and I'll just keep coming downhill. How's that sound? Wrap the grass bale. But if I if I wrap the grass bale, I don't have a bale wrapper. But how much? Wait, how much is a bale wrapper? Here's bottling technology. Come on. Oh, there it is. See how flippin' expensive that is? <laughs> how much can you sell individual silage bays for, or bales for, sorry? I think we have, yeah, I got one of those. A Schmetterling. Does anyone know what a Schmetterling is, actually? Like, it's German for something, but, ooh, Ursus. Now, if I buy this Ursus, is this going to not... These are, like, for the little tiny bales, aren't they, that... Go with the Ursus baler. Or are they? Do they go? Will they go? Because this is. Wait, what baler do we have? No, we don't have either one of those. This is the baler that we have. So it makes a 4,000 liter bale. Baler turns loose, okay, into convenient bales. And then this just says bale wrapper. But where's the, where is the baler for this? Like, I don't see it. Unless it's this. And that's a 4,000 liter bale. Ursus wrapper is for the round bales. Yeah, but I mean, is it any round bales? Because that's by far the cheapest option is a bale wrapper. 
the other weird Tron thing is for the big bales. Well, they're all pretty big. Oh, this one's for like the big square bales. Okay. You guys better be right or I'm going to be so disappointed with you guys. <laughs> I count on my I count on my fans for for all this uh, correct information and positive uh, reinforcement and um, usually you guys don't let me down so we'll see everybody's telling me to do it the game only does the 1.3 meter round bales and the rectangular big bales both are four thousand liters okay all right I'm trusting in you. I am trusting in you. Please don't let me down. Because if you do, I'm going to frown. Wait, come on now. What am I doing? Eh, what am I doing? What am I doing? gonna hit this Audi here Ugh. that's like the most horrible color for a car but there's a lot of people with white cars here white or like very light color like light gray I just look oh there's some darker colors up, up the road there Look, even over there. Oh, I see a red car. But look, a white van. One of the developers must really like white cars or something. <laughs> All right, so. Unfold bale. Okay, so there should be a bale. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's right. This thing kind of kicks off to the right, doesn't it? You should have a bale rack right chair. All right. <clears throat> it's going to start wrapping. <laughs> okay, that was <laughs> that's terrible. Bail. Now this should be immediately silaged. So I should be able to take this. Uh, oh my gosh. Boom, all right. So let's see what the mixture is <clears throat> and whether I do in fact need to go back and purchase another straw bale. Wait, what is that? What's the one on the bottom? The middle one is silage. I think that's hay. Um. Yeah, it doesn't show.
Well, no, I can't. I, I have to know which one to add because if you look at the mixing ratio, the top one I think is hay, the middle one is definitely 100% silage, and the bottom one I'm pretty sure is straw. So I should just need to add more. I should just need to add another hay bale, which is going to be this guy probably. Freaking kidding me? Just line it up. Jeez. Yeah, I just added silage. Is this straw or is it hay? I guess we're gonna, bale is not supported. All right, well, whatever the heck it is, it's not the right one. This must be a straw bale then. Yeah, that's a straw bale. So is this hay then? Ah, oh, here's a hay bale. So I'm going to have to go back and buy another freaking hay bale. The mixer runs automatically whenever you add stuff to it. How, how is it possible that the mixer is full? I don't even have the correct ratio on there. Let's see, turn on mixer wagon. Because I don't have the I don't have the mixtures correct, it's not gonna it's not gonna register as TMR. I didn't put it in wrong, savvy. So for the last time, what is the top number? 15.46, what is that? Is that is that straw or is it hay or what is it? It's this right here, isn't it? Yeah, it's this. So what is that? Is that, is that straw? Because if it's straw, that's what I'll put in there. 
But I put I put one bale of straw and I put one bale of hay in there already. And you have to add silage. You can't just add straw and hay. Gosh. Corn66 says it's hay. I'm going to go with him. <laughs> So I will get a square bale of hay. Yeah, I don't like this mixer. Savvy, you can't just choose to dump some straw out. It's all mixed together once it's in there. Oh, I should have had that weight on the back, but that's okay. So this should... Keep... Yeah, there we go. See, now it's like really nice and dark. And the, the ratio is still off. If I go over here and it actually dumps out straw, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna like die. Cause this is, that would be absolutely so dumb. Yeah, so that's not, what is that offloading? That's not straw. Looks like hay. It's whatever the top thing is, because that's the only one that's going down. So I need to know, whatever says 17.4 floor, what is that? I'm pretty sure that's hay. And I've added hay twice. I can't offload straw for some reason. You can't dump the straw out if it's already mixed up. Thank you, Jessa. Thank you. <laughs> See, Savvy doesn't, his brain doesn't work like the rest of us. He doesn't understand those concepts. 
Um, let's see here. Um, so grass and hay. So yeah, that's hay. The top one is hay. So I keep adding hay, and yet the the I don't understand. No, for the love of God. Well, all the hay's out of it now. Now here comes all the silage. So I'll just let it all like empty out. I don't know how the heck I'm gonna get back in here. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Oh, this part's going to suck. And not in a good way. Um, alright. Where is my rear way? It re I, I am truly amazed that Giants Software has, has been able to put the technology into farming simulator to out actually like allow little micro arms to <laughs> to offload the specific components of of total mixed ration Ugh. I swear upon everything that is holy, I better be able to dump this in here. <laughs> or I'm going to have a fanny attack. Okay, there we go. See, now it's mixing it up properly. Jeez. What a nightmare. Hey, we finally got a subscriber after how many hours? Still got 104 people uh, watching, so thank you guys for hanging out and watching. This disaster of a... <laughs> Actually, it's been pretty good. Uh, just here in the, the end here, we got our uh, ratios mixed up. What the... I wonder what put us off. Because I only put three... Uh, or I only put one loaf. I almost said loaf. I did say loaf, but that's what I was going to say, so I said it anyway. Um, I only put one bale of straw in there, I thought. See, this is this is one reason why I like the other um, TMR mixer. Because you can, you can more easily mix your... Uh, like, it's bigger, so it'll take all the components easier. Oh, drop some. Okay, so. We pretty much need one more, one more scoop of hay. One more scoop of silage. And we're good. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh wait, there's more hay over here. Okay, one more bucket of silage and we should, keyword being should, be good. Finally, thank you. See, now it says total mixed ration instead of just forage. Oh, thank gosh. Boy, that was a big pain in the butt. Yeah, I don't have that issue with the uh, the, the other, the, the larger mixing wagon. So definitely something, you, you're going to save a few bucks maybe with this one, but it's a bit much bigger pain. Alright, so now we get to offload the TMR, finally. And um, this is going to load up with TMR, and then fairly soon uh, we should f get up to 100% productivity on the cows. Shoo! Jessa Brady uh, says she liked and, subs and sub. Thank you so much. All right, you're bored. We'll play some farming sim. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was too much. So now, um, I guess all I'll have to do is just. Put the rest of the straw in here. That was weird. See what's nice um, about, especially about the one uh, like the, the the TMR mixing vehicle. It's the I can go show it to you guys here in a second. Um, with that one, it's super easy because then you just do. I think it's like one straw bale, two hay bales, and and then you just drive it up to wherever you have your um, your silage, and boom, you're done. It's all, it's like, you, all you have to do is just load enough silage in to, until the ratio is correct and you're done. You're absolutely done. So yeah, this is a little bit different. Heck, come on now.
Oh, I guess I was full. I love how it's like I'm eternally pulling, <laughs> pouring it out. Ugh. All right. Well, that was stressful. Okay, so straw. So they do have some straw. They've got the TMR. Which will probably last them for a while. That'll actually get them up to 100% efficiency. So I think we'll have to like tick, tick over either to the next day or at least to the next hour in the game. Um, let's see how much we've got. 260 milk. Oh, wait. Let's see what the... Yeah. So right now I could probably just drop a... Well, I think if I put a, a hay bale in there, it's probably going to be probably going to be too much. But I do actually want to find, or I want to, uh, I want to sell some milk. I, I know that we're not going to, like, you know, break the bank with how much money we're going to get. But I just want to see kind of how much we'll end up getting here. I think we just go right here. Boom. All right, so milk, where does that sell? Where do, what the heck is that? Like poop and pee, I don't, <laughs> no, it's like, it's like liquid manure and solid manure. Um. All right, here we go, so 12. 64 Casare Engerlot. Tag place. We're going to tag it. <laughs> We're not even going to make a thousand. We're going to make like um, maybe $300 on this. I don't think it's going to be that much. Shoo. Never I be, never before have I been so happy to be finished making TMR. <laughs> See, I think what I should do maybe is um get one of those bale uh grinder thingy do bobbers like I had before. Or like I was showing you guys before. Then we can just put the bales in there. That thing grinds it up. And uh, and then we just use the bucket truck to, you know, put the correct uh, ratios of everything in there. And then it's pretty easy. It takes longer to do that way, but, you know. At least I don't, you know, I won't have to be pulling my hair out the whole time. All right, so we're going to sell our milk yeah three three hundred twenty nine bucks but hey we got to sell the milk so that's one of the places that's the cheese the cheese place which is one of the places where you can sell the milk in the new version all right well i think i'm gonna call it a night here guys and gals um Gonna head this back or head on back and um, you know drop this off. But um, I want to thank everybody for you know hanging out with me tonight. You know playing some farming sim. It's been a long time uh, since I've last played some farming sim. I still don't know if I'm gonna do a series because um, I you know I kind of feel like if I 
do the live streams and I restart a series, like I'm gonna have to start all over again. So I don't know, but I might, I might do it. Oh, this is an articulated trailer, isn't it? Oh, I hate these things. I'll tell you what, since I don't really need to do much with this, I'll just leave this over... I'll just leave this over here. And then all we have to do is just come over and, you know, pick it up. Hate these things. Close enough. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Um, this is Ben. This is the uh, Farming Simulator 19 official. Well, I guess it's official, but um, it is the, the brand new Alpine expansion. Uh, it's a uh, expansion pack or DLC that, that comes out for Farming Simulator 19 tomorrow. That is November 12th. Actually, today, later today, uh, November 12th, 2020. Um, it is available directly through giant software if you've got the pc version uh and you don't mind doing a, the direct buy um i do have a link down in the video description you can use my uh affiliate code which is also down in the video description um which helps me out a little bit um if you don't want to do that you're like no way brad you can still buy it through steam um the direct buy version is actually compatible with the steam version so if you're worried about that don't worry it, it's compatible um, but if you still want to just buy it through Steam, uh, I've got the link to the Steam version in there. I think it's also available on Epic Games. And then if you're on console, um, it should be available sometime tomorrow. I don't have the exact times in front of me, but it will be available sometime uh, tomorrow uh, on either the Xbox or the PlayStation Store. So uh, thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the like button. Uh, it does help me out tremendously. Uh, leave a comment once the video goes live if you want to re-watch it and yell and scream at me, uh, especially with this silence thing. Um, I always appreciate uh, your comments. I do read them all. And if you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button for this and many more videos. Thanks again for watching. I'm Brad M73. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.